Hello guys and welcome back. So let's continue uh, with this and I'm gonna allow editing. I did a quick change here, but we're back to uh, to normal. And uh, I changed one more thing. The, the attribute here, I didn't I first exposed it using this edit parameter and face and um, that's not the right way to do it. We have to use the right click menu property type properties and go under the parameters interface and then we can drag and drop whatever we want so let me uh, fix this again i'm going to call this base fracture and it's of value zero and this is secondary fracture and it's of value of one and this is base fracture and that way uh, it works Okay, so the next thing we want, let's say I want to add more levels to this. Okay, right now it's looping over this name attribute, which is fine. I mean, that's what the, uh, the shapes are and that's what they're named at. But we can create uh, something else. We, can, we don't have to use that name attribute. So the first creation, the first time, it's going to be uh, called name and that's fine. But we don't necessarily need uh, need that to be called that way and uh, let's forget the name attribute all together we're not going to use uh, we're not going to use it and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to this <coughs> pardon me to these points here and i'm going to create use a create node and i'll explain why uh, sorry an attribute create here and I'm going to call this center ID. That's the name of the attribute for now. And it's equal to $PT. And this is going to create an attribute with that name. Okay, call it this. And I'm going to set it to an integer. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to tick on copy cell uh, points attributes. I'm going to copy that. And what the name is, is this. I'm going to copy this and paste it here. I'm going to do the same thing with this guy. I'm going to paste it here. Okay. Now, um, this is the, let's say the first time, there is no attribute for the for each to use. Okay. We cannot loop over anything that is not, uh, that doesn't exist. So we, let's say we made the first time, I'm going to copy this actually. And this is the first uh, fracture. Uh, let's take a look here. So that's the first fracture. Everything is fine. And then we're going to do a secondary fracture. Okay. This time I'm not going to use, I'm not going to loop over this guy. Okay. I'm going to loop over an attribute that I created here. And that n attribute name is this guy. Okay. I can say, okay, I'm going to call this center ID one. When I did the first fracture, I made an attribute called center ID one and it's a point attribute. Okay. All we have to do now is tell the second for each loop to use that attribute. But unfortunately, it's a point attribute. Okay. And we also, we don't want that. We want it to be a primitive attribute. So we can have it either be a point or a primitive uh, attribute. So I'm going to set it to a primitive attribute. And uh, let's make sure it's the same for this guy too. So it's a primitive attribute. And now this secondary fracture, we can tell it, okay, don't loop over the name, loop over center ID one. Okay. So it's something that we have to plug in ourselves. And what we need is we need two things. We need when we create the destruction or the base, the first thing we have to create an attribute for each fracture that is not name. We forget about name. Okay, so let's create, um, let's actually do type properties on this, dive inside, and I'm gonna drag and drop this name. This node here, I'm gonna drag and drop. That's it. And this, I'm gonna call this fracture attrib name. 
it's too long but I think for now it's gonna help us remember and that's gonna get copied to everything and now we have this but it's not enough if I do if I set this this is the name of the attribute that I created at this level but what about this node it doesn't know that so we have to do one more thing I'm gonna type dive inside and we're going to expose the name here the name that we need to loop over okay so this guy fracture attribute loop the first base the first time it doesn't matter what this name is because it doesn't it doesn't use this chain at all it's deactivated so we can set it to whatever we want okay at this level but then when, when we want to do secondary fracture we're gonna set this to one and then tell it okay I want you to loop over this name the center ID one sorry we want I want you to loop over center ID one and I want the attribute that you will create the second time is called center ID two hey okay, maybe I should swap these guys and I will do a separator temporarily so this guy is loop over and this is fracture name let's simplify it like that okay and right now we created the this the center ID one and I'm gonna use that to loop over and then the result of this is going to create center ID 2 okay and let me fix few things in the second OTL because I messed up few things so I'm gonna set this name here paste relative reference and then this guy I'm gonna set here and everything is set now let's take a look at this guy and it's set to one so th the attribute that we're going to use to do the loop over is this and then we're going to create another result from that that is called center ID 2 so if we take a look now everything is working as expected so let me save uh, this node as yeah, because we did a uh, few changes in different places should have kept one node only and let's right click and say match current definition and I'm going to delete that node and create a new one so I didn't now I did propagate now I didn't propagate this Yeah, the interface didn't update as I had hoped for. So I'm going to delete this node and let's allow editing this guy and let's fix a few more things here. So, so what we need is this name. So type change and this is loop attribute. I'm going to move up. That's the first thing we're going to use to uh, loop over. And let's name these two and then this is fracture name and hit apply and I'm gonna add a separator so it's very clear that this is the first level or this is what we're going to use to loop over and this is what we're going to use to create the um, uh, the to name the pieces okay and for now when it's the first time this name doesn't it doesn't matter it's only this name that matters that's what we're going to create and let's type property hit apply accept match current definition and I just want to make sure that when I create the node yep everything is correct okay so we have that and let's copy this again and let's make sure that's linked that's linked okay and here it's we're gonna do not the first time it's a uh, it's not the 
we're doing a secondary fracture we're going to loop over the attribute called center id1 and i want the result to be called center id2 okay and that's what the result should be but it's not so let's see why i'm going to allow um, right click allow changes so we can dive inside and, and check what's happening here so we have the geometry coming in and we have a name oh i remember okay so one more thing that we need to fix is i believe yeah this guy i missed and i'm going to say save note type and match current definition and that propagated to this node as well okay so this should work now yep cool so now we have a way to we have first level first fracture and this name is can be anything doesn't matter we just need to say okay this is base fracture or level one okay then i have this node and say okay i want to loop over each piece these guys this is level one this is level one this is level one and each one of them has unique id so loop over attribute it's called level one because we already created that and then resulting name the new level is going to be level two okay and that's the result and then i'm going to copy this and i can say okay now i want you to loop over level two and give me level three and that's how the system is going to work and now we we have access to each one of these guys and let's do this let's do a color attribute on here and i'm going to say random from attribute and it's primitive attribute and the name is uh sorry is level one okay so that's level one that's level two and that's level three now we have to work on the fracture feature itself okay so i'm gonna hit save for now and we're gonna continue this in the next video thank you guys for watching and see you in a bit